Alright, you must test your fighting skills. Alright, we have the Wave Concussor. Now, the Wave Concussor is like the second variation of this gun, the scatter gun, and in this game, I guess this is where it's first revealed, but in this game, we have multiple types of guns, and it actually ranges to a variable of three, so there's going to be three types of every type of gun, leading to about, uh, three times four. About 12 different types of guns in this game. So that's pretty epic. I liked how they built upon that and added more more chaos and variety. But I think Ratchet and Clank, that's where they really had their strong point in the guns. And I guess they try to mimic them a bit. But um, I really like the guns of Ratchet and Clank a lot more. They're a lot more unique. And they're just more destructive overall. It's just a bunch of explosions in that game. While this one's, some of it's a bit more tactical. And whoa, I got up there. Nice. And look how beautiful this place looks. Oh my god. Nice sky and everything. <laughs> Now this always reminds me of going up to Baron's Palace because whenever I went up to Baron's Palace it was always really epic. And I killed my leaper. Nice. I killed it. Wow. And uh now we're gonna be killing Marauders. And Marauders, Marauders. They're pretty much these fierce, dangerous foes and uh, they're gonna be living in the desert most of all. These are the guys that drive the vehicles that attack us. And uh, we only visit them in the desert and in the, uh, the arena here. Now we unlock the dark bomb. It's naturally unlocked. It's not really, um... What, what, what's the word for it? Acquired by the Oracle. And, uh, get this guy. My favorite gun in this game is the blaster. Of course it is. And there's actually an even more overpowered gun than the blaster in this game. Um... Wastelander, son. Get out of here. Alright, let's head back up to Deimos and see what we got. I can't believe you two are still alive. Yeah, what a surprise. I are very impressed. Hey, Featherbutt, who appointed you king? Almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his head of birds. Oh. I never get any sleep these days. Say me the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat man ahead. You want the crown? I'll crown you. Don't make me come down there from this perch. I got a perch for you. Be right here. wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet and a new win mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wasteland. Okay, now we have the beam reflexor, and guys, this is the most overpowered weapon to ever hit this game. It's my favorite weapon, and has the most damage, so whenever you shoot, it bounces a beam room and it actually costs like one bullet but sometimes it takes two or three and it'll pretty much turn into a living death nightmare trap it's crazy it spikes everywhere pretty much it'll blast everything in sight and it just really it really gets hectic if you get infinite ammo and you will launch like a whole wave of the wasteland technique on them it's impossible to come back from that so that's what you guys want and here we go dismount the leaper come on here we go Damus has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way. Jack's not afraid of you! Are you, Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just old friend Jack and the little one here. Some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? 
Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards awaiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. <laughs> Amos is a badass. That guy is just really cool. He's giving Jack, like, this is the transition. I actually watched the commentary from the developers about this game. That's where they sh kind of show, like, a bond between Deimos and Jack being formed. And you guys will see why it's important for that kind of stuff in this game and where the story goes from here. I know a lot of people didn't play Jack 2 and a lot of people didn't get to play Jack 3. Uh, some got to skip Jack 2 to play Jack 3. But I, I wouldn't have skipped Jack 2. That's, like, my favorite. So this game is actually a bit shorter than Jack 2 and a bit longer than the first one. Well, it does its part in storyline, storyline-wise, and the way they expanded everything. I, I think they did a good job. I just, they had a couple of ideas where they almost killed the franchise with Jack's haircut. Now, they were gonna give him some type of dreads similar to what you saw on Demos for a specific reason, but they canceled it like maybe mid development. I don't know what they were thinking about with that one, but I didn't really like the haircut I saw on Jack X either. I thought they were gonna make him look bald, but now they're looking like a rad racer dude. When he's supposed to be Jack, the badass, the Super Saiyan. I really wish they could have taken it back. Now we have to help out with the Leaper Patrol over here, so let's see what we got. Wow, great. Every time I get stuck around the damn corner, scared, damn it. All right, now we have to chase a leaper. Now try not to, stupid. Cleaver parked right here from the way. You don't want to run over them. You want to get close enough in range. So let's try to slow down if you're going too fast. Get Daxter onto it. So this is another sequence where you can use Daxter to, to run on them. And um, you don't want to hit the, the cactuses because if you do, it dies. So you want to try to, con this is a really high sensitivity, but. Just pretty much control it throughout the uh, the, the course of whatever, and now the same course right here because of how. Uh, Whoa! Oh! Damn it! It worked the first time. All right, let's get let's get another one. Now I know if you run over these cactuses, it kind of destroys the spikes on them, but I think they actually do respawn. That's not good. Yeah. Now um, they are like. Pretty cool, I guess, B, but I wouldn't prefer them over, uh, I would say, a vehicle in the desert. And uh, But yeah, I think they added a bit of a good gameplay diversity in this game with these things because they didn't have these type of missions in the other games and actually gets used to die for the first time, so that's pretty cool. Piece of cake, baby! Alright guys, this has been a pretty long episode, so I think I'm going to be cutting this into two pieces, but if you guys like this video, please remember to leave a rating, and uh, now that I'm partnered, it just means so much to me that you guys are still supporting me all this way, and it shows me how far we've come to, like, actually establish, oh wow, I just jumped into the torch, what the hell? But yeah, if you guys could just please like this video, that would really help me out, and we're going to get the last leaper. I definitely have to split this into two parts. I'm looking at the time right now, 20 minutes, damn. All right, get over here, come on, yeah. Come on, Billy, let's go. Let's go, Jeff, down to the redneck village we go. And uh, we're off. There we go, guys, see you guys later. Say good night, little lizard. Oh yeah, that's right. to admit you got some talent kid have another one of me vehicles you earned it damn straight would it be too much to ask for a foot rub uh... nope didn't think so o vídeo foi legal foi o episódio episódio 3 parte 2 para que diga o computador né mas Quando eu vi o episódio 3, parte 1, eu vi que a cara que cara, que me, que me familiar, eu acho, um, eu vejo talvez quando eu, quando eu conseguir.